Mr. Saddam Hussein would not heed the warning. Uh, we knew it was going to come, but we didn't know exactly when, if it would be early, if the, the president uh, would wait a few days or, or a few hours, and it's only been a few hours. So, uh, as I say, I, it's a real downer, but uh, our hands are, and our faith, uh, we know that the president uh, did what he felt was right, and uh, the majority of the American people seem to be behind him, and we just hope that it will be very short. We sure do. We hope that uh, Hussein uh, decides that it's not worth it, and uh, comes up with uh, something rather quickly. But anyway, tonight it's uh, the Larrys of St. Lawrence Central and the Raiders of Messina. The Larrys rated number five in the small school poll in New York State High School Hockey. The Raiders rated number seven in the large school. And uh, St. Lawrence Central the past few years has always been a force to be reckoned with, and I don't think that's any different here tonight. Uh, it should be an excellent game. The Larrys, uh, they've got some excellent forwards, and with Kyle Johnson returning the blue line, they're going to be uh, they're going to be a tough opponent for Messina tonight. Yes, that uh, old cliche you throw out the records when these two teams play certainly holds true. Uh, and but both clubs coming in with outstanding records. Uh, Larry's with a four and one in the division. Uh, Raiders five and one. Uh, uh, Messina seven one in the NAC. And uh, the Larry's nine and two. I hope these numbers aren't mind-boggling, but to go. and uh, overall St. Lawrence Central's nine and three and Messina nine and two. So that's uh, that's a pretty. Uh, even record. And as you say, these clubs coming in, I think uh, one of the keys uh, tonight for the Larrys would be adjusting to uh, this larger ice surface uh, here in Messina. It's a little wider, and, and uh, that may cause them a, a few problems early on in the defensive end. And I think they have to get uh, uh, a good, tough uh, goaltending from, I think, Nick Lefebvre is probably going to start in the pipes tonight. Uh, on the other side of the line, uh, Jerry, the, the Raiders uh, have to be aware of uh, St. Lawrence's has some excellent snipers in there. That line of uh, Captain Jamie Newtown, uh, Captain Aaron Burns, and Tony uh, Strack, among others, can really put the puck in the net. So uh, they're going to have to be leery of that. And also we're going to see how, how Messina adjusts to some of this, uh, the line combinations. We'll talk more about that later. Yes, indeed. There are some new line combinations for the Messina Red Raiders, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how they respond to that. Right now, the introduction's going on. Uh, there are some other games in high school hockey tonight. A big game up in Potsdam, as the Potsdam Sandstoners are hosting uh, small school number one, Salmon River. That's underway already, and we hope to have results on that as this game goes on. Also, Thousand Islands is at OFA. The Norwood Norfolk Indian River game in Clayton has been postponed. Also, Malone and Lake Placid, that has also been postponed tonight. On tonight, Plattsburgh at Saranac Lake, Canton at Alex Bay, Tupper Lake at Beekman Town, and uh, in non conference activity, Watertown playing at Corcoran. Of course, as we mentioned before, the Messina Red Raiders getting ready for a road trip this weekend. Messina will be playing at BFA, Bellows Free Academy, in St. Albans, Vermont, Friday night at 7 o'clock, and then at Essex Junction in Vermont, Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock, and uh, we'll be there to bring you both those games live on WMSA. And, and this trip, Jerry, is kind of a reward. Uh as Coach Stan Moore calls it, it's uh, they, they're going up there certainly to, to play to win, but it's a, it's a reward and a relaxing trip in the sense that pressure is off. Uh, it's not an NAC game. It's not a tournament. They're not tournament games. So somewhat the pressure is removed, and this is this will be good for the club. Now the competition that they'll be facing, uh, I haven't heard too much. I did ask the coaching staff, and uh, uh, Stan said that uh, he's not sure about. Bellows Academy, they might be down somewhat. I think that's the Raiders' opponent on Friday night. And uh, But the Essex Junction Club, uh, supposedly they're one of the uh, top-ranked clubs in the state over in Vermont. So that should uh, be a good test for Messina. Well, the Larrys have been introduced, and uh, the Messina Red Raiders are being introduced right now. And again, we do have some uh, some new combinations. Uh, the front, the first line has been changed, and we thought we'd never see that happen, Dave, but... Uh, it's still going to be Bigelow and Morris, but we're going to have a new left wing on that line. Tommy Moore will move up to play left wing on the first line. And uh, moving back to play with Jason Jackson will be Chris Cameron. And Todd Manning will be up to play right wing. Uh, he's going to be using his size, which means the reuniting of the Smurf line. <laughs> the Smurf line. Well, you know, this... The Raiders haven't played in a week. The uh, the game uh, last week against Tupper Lake was uh, canceled. And uh, they these new combinations, we'll see. The last time they laid off for a week, they were a little rusty against Canton in that first period. We'll see how they react to the uh, first period tonight. We'll, we'll expand on the uh, line changes later on, Jerry. Well, thank you very much, Paul Durham. Good evening again, everyone. We're about ready to start. Uh, our officials tonight, Mel Tomalty and Jared Ruddy. 
the two officials as we get ready to start. And, uh, you know, as Paul mentioned, rather chilling. While the national anthem was playing here at the arena, presidential spokesman Marlon Fitzwater was announcing the war has begun. Well, I'm, uh, I'm just speechless. Uh, I, don't, I think everybody probably feels the same way. We just hope and pray that uh, it's over very quickly and uh, the loss of life on both sides uh, is, is minimal. Okay, we've got Jake Morris stepping into the face-off circle with his new left winger, Tommy Moore. And on the right side, Captain Jeff Bigelow, who had that big goal against Potsdam a week ago. Jason Labarge and Brian Labac will be starting at the points. Garrett Hobbs will be centering Sonny Clark and uh, Andre Gardner for St. Lawrence Central. George Dudash out there to start on defense, along with Kyle Johnson. Oh, no, that's uh, Chris Leatherland, excuse me. And we're underway here in the first period. St. Lawrence Central and Messina in high school hockey action here at the Messina Arena. Off the faceoff, the puck dumped down in Larry territory. Nikki LaFave stops it behind the net and leaves it for Leatherland, who bangs it to the blue line, but not out. Kept in nicely. Here comes Jake Morris breaking in on the left side, trying to go to Tommy Moore. Moore gets knocked down, puck to the blue line. Kept in at the point by LeBac. It comes to Leatherland in behind his own net. Leatherland for the Larrys now, trying to hit the winger. And that's Gardner. Gardner and Cameron now battle as Messina starts to change line. Cameron steals the puck away, centering Bigelow. Shot, and it's knocked down by the defense. Sonny Clark after it. He picks up the puck and starts it out to center ice. Here comes Clark down the right wing side. Off sides will be the call as Gardner in just a little bit ahead of the play. So we played eight seconds shy of a minute. No score on the Peach Jeweler scoreboard. You'll probably see the Larrys come out kind of tentative in their forechecking uh, uh, game plan tonight, Jerry. I think uh, Coach Mickey Locke would like to just kind of feel his way along there, possibly just send one man forechecking earlier on. And he, he wants to be around at the end of the ball game. He wants to be within striking distance. Off the faceoff, puck in the Messina zone as the Jason Jackson line comes out there. Jackson out there with Manning on one wing. And we'll get it out of here in just a minute as Tommy Post starts to move it out to center ice. Trying to move it ahead. Uh, Chris Cameron's the other wing on this line for Messina. And it's the Newtown line for St. Lawrence Central. Newtown burns and strack. Here's Jackson to Manning. Manning gets by the D. Backhand shot right across the goal mouth. Cameron couldn't get the stick on it. And it's out to center ice. Off Burns' leg to the Messina line. Tommy Post is there. Post picks up the loose puck. Head man to Jason Jackson. Jackson lugs it down the left wing side. Here comes Jackson across the line into the Larry zone. He's knocked partially off the puck by Sutton. The puck bounces free to Manning in behind the net for Messina. Manning stops it in the corner. Left side of LaFave. Manning shot. Hits the glove. Bounces right in front but is cleared by Max Sutton into the corner. Now Cameron after it and Manning tries to tie it up. Back to the blue line. Jason Jackson, Tommy Post. And it's knocked away from him by Newtown out to center ice. Dumped right back in the Larry zone. Picked up on the defense. Long headman goes to Burns. He's just going to backhand it in the zone as the Larry's in the middle of a line change. As Joey Brown's line comes out. And Messina's Foshe line comes out. Foshe, Whitcup, and McCracken. Off the faceoff. The puck dumped in behind the net. Lefebvre stops it. McCracken picks it up. Trying to feed Foshe in front. Shot. Score! Joey Foshe and Messina gets on the board. Some good work behind the net by McCracken. How often did we see that last year? We saw a lot of times, and the, the line change has paid dividends right off the bat. Uh, Joey Foshe has had some problems uh, lighting that lamp this year. He's, he's been an outstanding hockey player, but he hasn't had much success. In fact, I'm looking down. I think that's, uh, that's Joey's uh, second uh, goal of the season, but... Uh, but that's bigger and better things are going to come for him. I mean, he deserves to have score more goals than that. But that line change paid dividends right off the bat. So Foshe picks up the goal for the Messina Red Raiders, and the Raiders go up one to nothing. McCracken picks up one assist, and that's it. Off the face off, the puck in the zone, off sides on Messina. Well, the uh, the best laid plans of mice and men, and uh, I know this is the last thing that uh, Coach Mickey Locke wanted to happen. He give up that early goal, but. Uh, They've got to figure out a way to harness uh, this Messina firepower. Not just one unit, but all three units. They can put the puck in the net. Off the faceoff, Whitcup dumps it in Larry territory. Back after it, it comes to Whitcup right across the goal mouth, and a save made by Lefebvre. Foshe after it, dumps it into the corner, knocked away, and back out to center ice. The Larrys try to get it out to center ice. Jamie Lyon ahead to Joey Brown, and Brown dumps it in the Messina zone. Dougie Cullen, the Messina goalie, stops it behind the net and leaves it for Brian Levac. 
LeVac starts it out for the Raiders. He stops at the blue line. Headman pass to the vacated wing slot, but it comes through anyway. Here comes Tommy Moore over skates, gets it the shot. He fires it just wide. Bouncing puck right in front of the net, cleared behind by the defense. And the bouncing puck comes free, and it's Griffith moving it, but not out. LaBarge keeps it in, flips it around behind the net. Jake Morris steps in front of it in the 45 position. Morris trying to stay with it. He's ridden into the boards by Leatherland, but coming to pick it up is Tommy Moore. Moore steps into the slot right in front, and it comes to Bigelow. Can't get the shot back to LeBac at the point, and the shot goes off the leg of Mike Griffith back to the Messina blue line. LaBarge to pick it up. LaBarge, headman, Bigelow, Bigelow busting down the right wing side in the zone. Centering pass, knocked down, and back the other way comes Sonny Clark. Clark across the blue line for the Raiders, has the puck poke checked away by Aaron Barkley. Tries to follow it in behind the net. It comes to Tommy Post, who flips it around the wing for Tommy Moore. Moore now just trying to drop it back for Barkley. Barkley stick handling behind the net. He runs into traffic. Clark steals the puck. Centering right front. Here's a backhander just wide by Gardner. Gardner coming up after the puck again. Good chance for the Larrys right there. Puck squirts free. Tommy Moore trying to slide it out of the zone. He does. Dumped. Bouncing. Comes free to Gardner. Now Jake Morris picks up the puck. Has his stick lifted. And it comes to Morris in the corner as he stays with it. Johnson tries to check him. But Bigelow picks up the puck. Looks to center. But Max Sutton is there to break it up. Bounces it off the boards to center ice. Aaron Barkley to his own blue line. Cross ice pass to Tommy Post. Post loses it in a skates. Turns around. Bounce pass doesn't get it out. Kept in by Clark, who's forechecking. Bouncing puck. Johnson goes off a leg out to center ice. That's Jason Jackson, who's out there now for Messina. Bouncing puck comes to Cameron. Cameron all by himself, trying to stay with the puck and does. The drop pass goes to Jackson right in front. It goes Manning shot. And a good save by LaFave. Nice pass by Jackson. Back to the point it comes. Post, he keeps it in, but it's bounced away from him and back out to center ice. Here's Garrett Hobbs. Hobbs to the red line. Dipsy noodling. He dumps it in the Messina zone where it's picked up by Jackson. Jackson, head man pass to Todd Manning. Bounces over a stick, but following up is Jason Jackson, the backhanded, in the Larry zone. Bouncing puck comes in behind the net. Max Sutton is there. Here's Sutton now. Stick handling. It loses it. Right in front. Here's a backhander by Cameron. Knocked down. Right in front. They jam at it. Puck comes free in the corner. Aaron Burns picks up the loose puck. Head man pass. Jamie Newtown. Newtown for the Larrys. Building up ahead of steam. Has it poked away. Got a little bit away from him. Now Brian LeBac. Stick checks it to Manning. Manning out of the zone. Here comes Todd Manning across the blue line looking for Jackson. Jackson trying to step by the D to Manning right in front. He can't handle it. It goes back to the point. Here's a drive. LeBac and the puck knocked down. Chris Cameron gets a shot off. He fanned on it. Comes right back to him in the slot. His shot. LaFave makes the save and holds on for the faceoff. A lot of sustained action right there. And a smart move by the, the Larry goaltenders. Uh, Nick LaFave uh, holding on for a faceoff right there. The Larry's a little disorganized. We talked about at the top of the show, one of the adjustments St. Lawrence would have to make would be in their defensive end. This a little bigger ice surface, especially the width. And uh, uh, early on, the uh, Larry defensemen are having some problems. Uh, the Raider forwards have beaten them twice to the outside fairly easily. They're going to have to make that adjustment. Face off right side, Larry territory. On the Peach Jeweler scoreboard, Messina leads 1-0 on a Joey Fauché goal, and he's out to take the face off. Against Chateau, the backhander McCracken, the save made by goaltender Lefebvre. Puck around the boards and picked up by Mike Griffith. Here comes Griffith out to center ice. His shot from just inside the blue line is turned aside by Cullen. That may be his first save of the night. Puck around the boards goes to Whitcup. Now he turns around and looks. He's going to lug it. Now headman of Fauché. Joey down the right wing side gets knocked off the puck. And we're going to have a penalty right there. Yeah. And it's going to be a tripping call. That's right. Jamie Lyon, number 15, has got to go to the box. He upended uh, uh, Tommy Post behind the uh, Raider net. And uh, Jarrett Ruddy right on the spot made the call. So uh, that vaunted... Raider power play, uh, their first, and again, as we said many times before, the last thing is like throwing gasoline on a fire when you uh, when you let this unit go on the power play. It's been so successful, and we'll see what he's going to He's going to start out with the Jake Morris, Jeff Bigelow, and uh, Chris Cameron, original power play. Chris is back on that left side. We've got LaBarge and Post at the points, off the faceoff, out there to try to kill it. We'll pick him up in a moment as Messina sets up. We've got Garrett Hobbs out there along with Gardner. Here comes Morris across the blue line. He's got Bigelow breaking in. Dumps it in behind the net. Dudash is one defenseman, and it comes to Morris. Morris bounces it, has Dudash take it away. The puck around the boards. Leatherland's the other defenseman, and the Larrys clear it down to center ice. And, in fact, it'll slide all the way in on Dougie Cullen. He stops it and leaves it for Tommy Post. Here's Post. Bounce pass Bigelow. Bigelow looks for Labarge, who's breaking. Into the zone he comes. Here's Labarge looking to set it up, but it's knocked away from him out to center ice again. 
Wide pass by Post, almost got intercepted. It comes to Jake Morris, though. Morris circles, looking to set up the power play, which has not been too powerful as of yet. Here comes Morris in the zone now. Stops at the 45, goes back to Post at the point. Post slides it over to Labarge. Labarge, and sprawling in front of it is Garrett Hobbs to block that shot. Really, more was a pass than a shot. Cameron now flips it around the boards for Morris. Morris back to Tommy Post at the point. 25 seconds left in the power play. Here's Jake with it. Back to Post. He fakes the shot. Now he gets it off the save. Made the big rebound in front. Morris can't come up with it, and it comes free, and it's dumped out by Garrett uh, out, Garrett Hobbs out to center ice. Now we got an offsides. I just said, it uh, always happens. You, you give them a big play-by-play, uh, play, a big build-up, and uh, they fall flat in their face out there in that power play. Probably one of the worst uh, shifts of the year on the power play. They didn't, uh, just couldn't connect out there. They did get the one shot, Tommy Post, but there was uh, no one at all around uh, in front of that net to uh, screen uh, young Mr. Lefebvre, and he'll stop those all day long. Jackson's line out now against the Newtown, or two-thirds of the Newtown line. Face off right by the red line where the offsides pass originated. It comes to Barkley. Barkley drops it over to LeVac, and LeVac starts it out for Messina. Takes it across the red line, dumps it. Deep in Larry territory. Penalty is up, and we're back to even Steven. As the puck comes around the boards to Newtown, he backhands it out the center ice, all the way down the ice. It's going to come right in on Cullen. Cullen leaves it for Barkley, and Barkley steps by a check, flips to Manning, goes by him. There's Johnson back in the zone. Barkley is there to bounce it back out to Manning again. And Manning turns it around. There's Todd Manning dumping in Larry territory. Bouncing puck stopped by Lefebvre. He leaves it side of the net for Max Sutton. Flips it out to center ice. Newtown. Newtown makes the move and comes up with it as Manning didn't see it. His shot from center ice is turned aside by Cullen. Now here's Manning back in behind the net for Messina. Manning has it poked away by Newtown, but covering up is Levac. The back bounce pass out to center ice it comes. Picked up there by Sutton. He dumps it right back to the Messina line. Aaron Barkley is there. Takes it in behind his own net. Barkley, headman pass, goes for Whitcup. Here comes Bobby. He might break it free. Here comes Whitcup. Breaking in. Shot. Oh, he fires it wide on the backhand. And he goes into the net and knocks it off its moorings. And the faceoff will move outside. Nice pass to free Whitcup, but he couldn't get that puck off the backhand. He was in behind number six, Kyle Johnson, had a step on him and uh, hit the dot and cut inside. But uh, Nick Lefebvre made, him, made Bobby make that first move, and Bobby had no place to go with it. He tried to come across. As we say, he plays that right side. He's a left shot. He tried to come across the crease, but uh, Nick Lefebvre was equal to the task. After a period, Potsdam 5, Salmon River 2. Whoa. That's interesting. Off the faceoff. Here comes Whitcup after it again in the corner. Dudash. Oh, Whitcup really took him out of the play. The puck bouncing free picked up by Mike Griffith. Griffith flips it into the corner. Leatherland and McCracken go after it. Of course, Leatherland played his minor hockey here in Messina, which makes for an interesting matchup here. They jam in the corner. Uh, Fauché comes in to try to help out. And the puck squirts free, but Fauché can't find it. Joey Brown does, and he dumps it to center ice. Jason Labarge is there to try and turn it around. He drops it over on the other side to Post. Back to Labarge. Labarge, the backhander. Fauché. Fauché circles into his own end, looking for a little room. He starts it out. Bounce pass. Goes all the way down the ice. They wave the icing off, though, and it goes in behind the net. Back there is Leatherland to pick it up for the Larrys. Bounce pass to the blue line. Here's Jake Morris, the drive. Oh, he didn't miss by much. Now to Labarge at the other point. And we have a whistle. I think the net's off. It's moorings. Or a man in the crease, one or the other. Yeah, I think it's a man in the crease. You talked about uh, Chris Leatherland out there being tough. I talked to his mom today, uh, saw her this afternoon, and uh, she was probably uh, more nervous than Chris was. As you mentioned, his hometown and played yeah. hockey with these uh, all these uh, fellows. Uh, that's tough coming back. Uh, remember the first game of the year when Messina played Northwood, and uh, Scotty Murphy had to endure the that's same right. thing. That's right. It's one to nothing on the Peach Jewelers scoreboard in favor of the Messina Red Raiders. Off the faceoff, Morris can't control it. It comes to Clark, and he dumps it in the Messina zone. Bounces to the side of the net. LeVac picking it up there. Has it taken away by Gardner. Andre now moving it back to the point, and Dudash can't get the shot off. Has to bounce it into the corner. Now it's Labarge for Messina. He's going to dump it back to his partner, LeVac, as he was taken out of the play. Brian flips it back to Labarge, and Labarge circles in behind his own net. Trying to get it around the boards to Bigelow. That's partially blocked. Puck bounces free. They jam in the corner. And it still comes free as Bigelow stays with it and breaks out of the pack. 
Here comes Bigelow leading the attack into the zone, trying to bust it to Morris, and the slot is shot, saved by LaFave. And Tommy Moore was breaking for the net. He went into the net, and uh, the net's off its mooring, so we'll have a face-off. A nice save by Nick LaFave. Well, it was a nice save and a great play by a young man we were just talking about, Chris Leatherland. He's the guy that took Tommy Moore. He hustled back, and he actually drove Tommy Moore into the net to, to knock it off its moorings. Uh, good defensive play by uh, Chris Leatherland. one nothing Messina on the Pete scoreboard. 4.50 left in the first period. one to nothing the Raiders lead it, as we mentioned. Again, after the first period, we'll be going back to check on the latest in the Persian Gulf situation. Face off in uh, Larry's zone to the left side. Newtown will be out there against Jason Jackson. Newtown with Burns and Strack. Jackson with Manning and Cameron. A new combination for Messina for tonight's game. Off the faceoff. Manning after it in the corner. Gets away and hauled down. But the puck bounces free in front. And picked up by Manning. His shot goes off a leg. And Todd's had some good chances tonight. But so far he's snake bit. Here comes uh, Newtown with it. Flipping it to Strack. His drive goes off a leg into the corner. Messina zone. Tommy Post loses it right in front of the net, but it comes to Jackson, and Jackson breaks it ahead for Cameron. Here comes Cameron now trying to bust past Sutton. He stops, feeds Jackson, gets by him. Jackson finds it. He fired it upstairs, but it's too high. In the corner, Cameron and Newtown jam for it. Newtown comes away with it. Headman goes to Burns off his leg and into the Messina zone where Tommy Post picks it up for the Raiders. Here's Post now. Another blind pass. This time it goes to Newtown. He breaks into the middle. They jam at it, and it goes into the corner. Newtown after it, trying to feed it behind the net. It comes right in front, but Post is there to flip it back to the point. Johnson shot, knocked down in front. Backhander by Strack goes wide, and the puck comes in the corner. Here's Strack again with it, jammed out of the play. Back to the point, Johnson shot. Cullen makes the save, but puts the big rebound in front. Tommy Posto clears it, trying to bounce it around the boards. Chris Cameron, little trouble with it. He and Newtown jam. The puck bounces free. Jackson turns it. Here comes Jackson. Busting it ahead for Cameron. Cameron back to Jackson. Jackson in the slot. What a move. Shot. Oh, nice save. And the rebound comes in free in front. Back to the point. Labarge cranks it up. Nice save again. And Nick Lefebvre is playing his best goal of the year, no doubt about it. Two great saves by Nick Lefebvre. He just stoned uh, Jason Jackson. Uh, Jackson danced around the... Uh, Larry defense went right in, and just he, he and Nick LaFave, and uh, again, uh, young Mr. LaFave did not make that first move. He made Jason Jackson uh, commit himself, and he just uh, robbed him blind. Two great saves by Nick LaFave, and as we said so many times, that really picks up a team. And, uh, you know, it seems to me the goaltenders always save their best performance for Messina. One thing they're going to have to get a little communication between uh, Nick and his defense. Uh, yeah. They've been off a little bit. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. Face off left side. Fauché's line out there now. Comes back to the point. Kept in by Labarge. He flips it in behind the net. Bouncing to Leatherland. Backhand pass around the boards for Mike Griffith. And Griffith turns it around. Griffith moves it ahead to Leatherland. He takes it to center ice. Fauché steps in front of the pass. Trying to slip it by. Here's Fauché across the blue line. He looks for McCracken, but Leatherland intercepts. Now he loses it. Drops it to Dudash. Goes by him. Whitcup after it in behind the net. And it comes free. Joey Brown backing to pick it up. He flips it. It comes to Griffith. And he moves it out to center ice. Whitcup is there. Drops it to Labarge at the Messina blue line. Still 1-0 Messina. 2.45 left in the first period. Now the puck comes to Brown. Brown turns it back. His shot from center ice goes wide. Bounces to Labarge. Jason now looking. Bounce pass goes to Whitcup on the wing. Whitcup, head man, Fauché, center man. And Fauché breaks down the right wing. To McCracken. His shot. Oh, boy, that almost handcuffed Lefebvre. Comes to the side of the net. And McCracken almost had an easy one right there. Puck bounces free. Back out to center ice. Here's Barkley with it. He's going to drive it from center ice. Knocked down by Dudash. Dudash and uh, Bigelow jam, but Dudash comes away with it. Trying to spring it free into the zone. Here comes Jamie Lyon, and we have a whistle. And I think we're going to have a penalty. Or is that an offsides? I think it's an offside, uh, referee yeah. Mel Tamalti. No. Yes. I didn't see the uh, infraction, but uh, it's going to be against. Looks like it's Tommy Moore. He's going to the bench, and Jared Ruddy is. Yeah, he's calling him for interference, but uh, no, it's not Tommy Moore. Boche, I guess. And, so we better not speculate. I didn't see the infraction, but uh, the officials did. So the, the Larrys are going to go on a power play, and Coach uh, Locke has been really pleased with his power play uh, this year. Uh, they've been uh, successful about uh, 
24% of the time, and that's uh, that's a pretty good uh, ratio. So uh, they've got some good snipers, as we mentioned out there. That uh, that line of uh, Newtown, uh, Strack, and Burns, and number 16, Tony Strack. He gets that shot away in a hurry. Okay, off the faceoff, Newtown in the corner. Newtown now taking it to the faceoff circle, moves it to Hobbs. Hobbs goes back at the point Strack, flipping in the corner for Hobbs, comes around the boards to Newtown, back to Hobbs. Garrett back to the point, Strack with it, goes to Hobbs. Hobbs has it bounce away. Newtown, though, comes up with it. Here's Newtown stepping in front, turns it around. They jam and score! Aaron Burns picks up the goal. Newtown fed it to him, and we're tied as the Larrys score in the power play. Good, excellent, an excellent job by the Larrys. A big goal. Didn't take them long on that power play. Less than uh, about 23 seconds. The Raider defenseman allowed the uh, Larry forward to come out from behind the net. Stepped right out. He should have played the man. He, the Raider de defenseman played the puck. Uh, the Larry forward stepped out. Raider out, came right out in front, fired the puck. Dougie Cullen made the first save, but then the other forward was parked off the uh, crease. What number was that, Jerry? That was Aaron Burns. Aaron Burns parked right off the left of Dougie Cullen, and he was parked right there, and a the rebound came right to his stick, and he won motion. It was behind him. So Aaron Burns picks up the goal, and we're all tied at 1-1 on the Pete Schuler scoreboard. That'll, of course, nullify the power play, and we're back to five-on-five -five hockey. Jason Jackson trying to come up with a puck, and Manning, it comes in behind, and Hobbs picks up the loose puck. Here's Garrett Hobbs with it, now trying to move it out, goes off a leg, but it gets to center ice. Sonny Clark picking up the loose puck. Here's Clark trying to move through the middle. He loses the puck, it comes to LeVac. Around the boards. Cameron, Cameron, headman, Jackson, Jackson busted right down the middle. Here's Jackson looking for Manning in front, but it goes by him into the corner. It's picked up there, and back out it's Andre Gardner. He loses it. It comes to Manning. Manning, nobody picks him up. The backhander knocked away by the defense. Dudash, and the puck comes in the corner. Jackson trying to control it. It comes out to center ice. And LeVac sweeps it away. Gardner follows it, takes it in the zone. Gardner into the boards, taken out of the play. The puck poked back to the point, bouncing free back to Gardner. Hobbs, his shot, blocked. It comes free. LeVac, under a minute to play in the period. We're tied at one. Manning moves it out to center ice. Dudash is there to flip it ahead. Goes by Jackson. Sonny Clark turns it. Here comes Garrett Hobbs breaking in. The shot. Cullen makes the same big rebound. Comes to Jackson. He circles, trying to flip it ahead. Has it poked away. They jam for it. Under 30 seconds left. After it, LeVarge, he can't come up with it. Now he does. They still try to move it in the corner. And there's pushing and shoving going on. It finally comes free to LeVac. And LeVac starts it ahead to Cameron. Doesn't get it out of the zone. Leatherland keeps it in. Bounces it in behind the net. And he got railed by Cameron. And there's going to be a whistle and a penalty. An elbow on Messina. Yeah, he's going to... Uh, Brian LeVac is going to go to the box. And elbow, and he got uh, Chris Leatherland with an elbow. And uh, just about set him back on his heels. And Mel Tumulty was right on the spot. Good pressure by the Larrys. Uh, Raiders a little disorganized and uh, going to put them put the Larrys back in a power play, and they were successful on the last one, but they've only got uh, eight seconds left in the period, which is a break for Messina at this st uh, stage because they're a little uh, disorganized and the Larrys are on a roll. 1-1 tie hockey game on the Pete Schuler scoreboard. St. Lawrence Central, a power play goal. They're right back on the power play as Newtown comes out there with Hobbs and Burns up front, and it'll be uh, Strack and Dudash at the points. That last goal for the Larrys at 13-17, uh, the power play goal, Aaron Burns from J.B. Newtown and Garrett Hobbs, as you call it, Jerry. Hobbs will take the faceoff against Jake Morris. Off the faceoff, the puck bounces free. Burns gets a backhander off, goes wide. The rebound right in front. It hits the side of the net, and Morris clears it around the boards as the buzzer sounds. So we'll go to the locker rooms, all tied at a goal apiece, as uh, Messina and St. Lawrence Central all knotted up. Our broadcast this evening brought to you by Reynolds Metals, St. Lawrence Reduction Plant, working together, their quality shines through. By the A-plus mini market, downtown Messina, franchise of the Atlantic Refining and Marketing Corporation. Homestead Dairies, West Hatfield, corner of North Main and Maple in Messina. By Seacom Federal Credit Union, 30 Stern Street. Bogosian's Carpet and Furniture and BC Cleaning, 70 Willow Street. Messina Building Supply, 70 Water Street. By Messina Super Duper, Heart Haven Shopping Center. By Nettos, 43 Andrew Street. Cheney Tire, East Orvis Street. Bridgestone, Firestone, and Skidoo Dealer. 
Pearl Vision in the Heart Haven Shopping Center, JNS Sports in the Heart Haven Center, your hunting, fishing, and camping uh, supply headquarters, North Country Savings Bank, Phillips Street, Messina Optics, Main Street, and I Appeal in Potsdam, Paris Environmental Control on the Winthrop Road, and the Pub and Pantry Restaurant located just east of Messina across from the St. Lawrence Center. We played a period. It's all tied to the goal apiece, David. Yes, and uh, I think the script is going exactly like uh, Coach uh, Mickey Locke wanted it to, even though they gave up that early goal. He certainly didn't want that, but he wanted to play a little conservative, uh, stay close to Messina, and uh, get down toward the end, and then uh, let's see where the chips may fall. But they, they, they got the great goaltending. As you, you mentioned, that it seems like every team Messina plays, they run into a hot goaltender. Messina controlled the play, there's no question, probably until the last uh, three minutes of the period, but they just could not uh, beat uh, Nick LaFave. In fact, Nick had uh, 11 saves, uh, and uh, uh, Dougie Cullen came up with seven. Big uh, unit. Uh, yeah. Right here, it's a lot closer than that. A 1-1 tie hockey game, and the uh, Larrys will start the second period with a minute 22 of power play as Brian Levac sitting in the box. Jake Morris out there with Jeff Bigelow, Aaron Barkley, and Tommy Post to try to kill. And we've got uh, Garrett Hobbs out there along with Burns, Newtown, and uh, back at the point track, I imagine, is one along with Dudash. And off the faceoff, Messina clears it down the ice, and uh, Lefebvre stops it and leaves it for Strack. 1-1 tie game on the uh, Corky's Collision scoreboard. Here comes Newtown busting across. Drops it back to the point to Strack. Strack feeds Hobbs in the corner. Post swipes it away. Back to the point. The drive goes wide. Whistling around the boards. Kept in at the point by Dudash. He flips it in behind the net. Tommy Post after it. Garrett Hobbs gets there first. Picks up the loose puck. Hobbs to the 45. Newtown. Circles around in the faceoff circle, right side of the net. It breaks it in now. The save made. Puck sitting in the slot. They jam at it. Where is it? Sits there. Finally comes into the corner. Hobbs after it. Nobody could clear it from Messina. Back to Newtown with 30 seconds left in the power play. The Strack. He just dumps it in behind the net. And the bouncing puck comes into the corner now. Here's Hobbs with it. Back to the point. Strack has it poked away. Gets it back. Drives it. And it goes in behind. Burns picks up the rebound. Hits the side of the net with it. And it comes free to Newtown. 17 seconds left. And Barkley takes him out of the play. Newtown now follows it and moves it out to the 45. Jamie Newtown goes into Burns in the corner, back to the point, And it comes free to Barkley. Barkley can't get it out. Now he picks up the loose puck and clears the zone. Here's Barkley now flipping it ahead. And into the Messina zone it goes. The penalty, penalty is up. And we got Burns breaking all by himself. And he takes it into the zone, but Messina gets back in time. Here's LaBarge with it. Messina almost got caught in a line change that time. And the puck stolen away in front, bouncing in the slot. The shot, glove saved by Dougie Cullen on a shot. I believe that was Sonny Clark. And we'll have a faceoff. Big save by Dougie Cullen. Uh, giveaway in the Raider end. And the uh, Larry forward just came off the bench into the zone about 25 feet away. Picked up that errant clearing pass. Didn't get a hard shot, but it was labeled in the right spot, low into Dougie's uh, glove side, but he plucked it out of the air. I Good think job on the, uh, the Larrys on that power play. They didn't score, but they did control the play inside. I think perhaps the Larrys have picked up a penalty. Melt Too many men on the ice. Yeah, Mel Tamalti is pointing to the, uh, to the penalty box and indicating uh, to Coach Mickey Locke and Randy Roy, let's get somebody in the box. So now we turn it around the other way, and the Raiders will go on the power play. Uh, Messina not all that successful first time around on the power play. In fact, uh, did not look good at all. No, uh, they did not. Uh, disorganized, but, I mean, they've been so successful and it looked so good. Uh, and uh, we mentioned earlier they've been off a week. Uh, they were a little shaky the last time this happened. I, uh, the Larrys played last night, and they had a big, uh, a pretty easy time over uh, St. Uh, St. Lawrence, oh, Saranac Lake. They were up 5-1 and kind of coasted after that. And, uh, Mickey Locke felt it was good for his club to play last night. Off the faceoff, Messina on the power play. Boucher's line out there for the Raiders. As the puck comes free, Jason Jackson drops back to play the point. Boucher out there along with McCracken. And I think we're going to have the other forwards going to be Aaron Barkley. So they want to get that big guy in front of the net. Now the puck controlled by LeVac at his own blue line. He steps it and dumps it in Larry territory. Whistles around the boards. Leatherland and McCracken go after it. It comes free to Newtown, back to the point. Jackson keeps it in. His shot hit the goalpost, as he had Lefebvre clearly beaten, as Lefebvre moved too late, but it hit the goalpost. Here's McCracken, feeds to Barkley, goes by him. Lefebvre dumps it in behind. Barkley jams for it. McCracken gets knocked down, but picks up the puck. 
Here's McCracken in the corner now. Steps by the defense. In front. And he can't get the shot off. And finally, it's backhanded out to center ice by Andre Gardner as McCracken had beaten the defense, and he fanned on the shot. Yes, he stepped right around the Larry defenseman and just fanned out of the last second. All right, back comes Messina again. Jason Jackson, he steps by the D, takes it in the zone, flips to Barkley, who dumps it in the corner. In behind the net now, Leatherland. Here's stepping in front, Barkley, centers it, goes in behind the net. And around the other side, it comes to Chris Leatherland. He backhands. It comes out to center ice. Levac is there to dump it in the zone, to lay off sides. But Messina clears the zone, and it comes back out to center ice, though, before anybody could do anything. Jackson now flips to Levac, and that takes care of that power play. And so Messina unsuccessful the second time. Sonny Clark feeds Hobbs, and he fans on the shot. Puck goes in the corner. Hobbs looking to center it. Nobody home. And back comes Messina's Bigelow. He's got Morris with him. Bigelow breaks down the middle. Takes it, looking, looking in front, and Moore can't get the shot off. Burns flips it back the other way to Hobbs. Poke checked away from him, Bigelow. Dumps in the zone. Messina gets caught offside. They clear the zone, but it's dumped back out to center ice to Burns. He flips it back in Messina territory. We're all tied at one on the Corky scoreboard. We're in the second period. Here's Tommy Post with it. Post, his pass is knocked down, and it comes to Bigelow. Bigelow steps by the D and starts it. Headman pass. Tommy Moore. Moore backhands it. Into the Messina zone, in behind the net. After this do dash, do dash circles, gets by the four checker, Jake Morris, flips it around the boards, but Tommy Moore steps in front. He dumps it, bounces it in behind the net. Max Sutton is there to flip it around the boards. Tommy Post pinching in, gets a piece of it. Here comes Bigelow, trying to feed it through. It goes off a leg, back to the point, and it is Labarge flipping it around on the other side. Sutton picking it up there. Sutton gets ridden into the boards by Whitcup as that Fauché line gets out there for Messina. They've got the Messina goal. Back to post. His drive. The save made. And Lefebvre holds on for the faceoff. We talked at the top of the show about these new combinations. And it uh, definitely, this is the first time Messina's played in a week. And it shows these combinations just aren't clicking. They're not, it, they don't feel confident with each other right now. And on the other hand, the Larrys, you can see their momentum and their confidence just growing by leaps and bounds. They, uh, they were playing a little tentative early on, but uh, they're gaining confidence, and uh, right now they're controlling the play. Face off right side in Larry territory. Fauché's line out there against the Newtown line. Mel drops the puck. It comes to McCracken, goes by him, back to the point, out to center ice. Here comes Tommy Post with it, bounce pass. And coming back for it is Newtown. Fauché trying to forecheck him. Whitcup picks up the loose puck. Here's Whitcup back to Fauché. Fauché trying to step by Johnson. Flips to Whitcup, intercepted. Back to the point. Post pinches in, keeps it in. Here's Post spinning around, dumping it in behind the net. Now Leatherland after it there, circling left side. Chris Leatherland starts it out for the Larrys. His pass knocked down, but out to center ice it comes. Off the stick of Burns. He goes to Newtown. Newtown drop pass goes back out to center ice. Dumped right back in the zone by Leatherland. We're going to have an icing call on St. Lawrence Central as Leatherland flipped it from the wrong side of the red line. We mentioned uh, the Larrys last night uh, played uh, Saranac Lake and jumped out to a 5-1 lead and coasted after that. The final score, I think, was 8-3. But uh, they've had some problems uh, over there with the flu and a couple of school closings. And uh, the last couple of weeks, Coach Mickey Locke said they haven't had a lot of practice. So he was glad to play that game last night. Uh, Faceoff will be back in Larry territory to the right side of goaltender Nick Lefebvre. Jackson's line out from Messina, and he'll face it off, I would guess, against the uh, Garrett Hobbs line. All right, here comes Hobbs now, stepping into the circle. Off the draw, puck goes into the corner. Leatherland is there to flip it around the boards, but stolen away by Cameron. Cameron looks to center. Jackson loses it in his skates. Bouncing puck comes back to the blue line and out to center ice. To the Messina line, the back is there. Flips it over to Labarge. Labarge looks ahead, trying to headman it down the ice. That'll be an icing against Messina. He was looking for Jackson breaking, but it was just too far. We mentioned uh, about Todd Manning. He's, uh, he's a left-handed shot. He also plays the off wing, but uh, he's a big one, 6'1", 190, and a uh, hang of a football player. And he's going to create some problems when he parks himself in front of that net. He's going to uh, occupy that goaltender and uh, one, maybe two defensemen. Now the faceoff moves back into the Messina zone to the right side of goalie Doug Cullen. And it'll be Hobbs out there to face it off against Jackson again. 1-1 tie hockey game off the draw. Puck in behind the net. They jam for it. Where is it? Bouncing around. 
Finally, LeVac, or LeBarge rather, flips it around to Manning. Trying to go back to the point. Here's the shot and the save made by Cullen. Next shot came from Kyle Johnson. Now the puck along the boards. Circling back in. Here's Gardner trying to drop it back to the point. Max Sutton's shot knocked down by Jackson. Goes in the corner. Jason picks it up. Flips it along the boards. Chris Cameron has it poke checked away. Jackson follows. Takes it to center ice. Here comes Jason Jackson across the blue line. Makes the shift now. Takes it to the right side. Jackson in the corner, draws a crowd, trying to center it. Couldn't get it there. It's back to the blue line, out to center ice. Tommy Post dumps it right back in the zone to lay off sides, but Messina clears as the Larrys pick it up on the defense, move it out to center ice. To the Messina line, Brian LeVac is there. Gardner trying to forecheck him. LeVac circles in behind his own net. Here's LeVac now. Gardner stays with him. LeVac, I don't know what he's there. Now it comes free to Post. Post loses it to Hobbs. Hobbs' centering pass goes back to the point. Johnson, his shot through screen is wide. Puck around the boards. Cameron after it. Cameron trying to get it out of the blue line. Can't get it out of the zone. It comes to Tommy Post. He and Hobbs. Now Jackson pokes it away. Comes to Post. He poke checks it ahead. Loses the stick. Manning back to the blue line. Jason Jackson can't get it out. Puck comes free. And Tommy Post sprawls in front of it without a stick and knocks it down. It comes right in front. They jam at it, and Cullen gets a piece of it. And finally, Tommy, or uh, LeVac, rather, leads the attack the other way. Here's LeVac feeding Cameron. Cameron goes back in front. Jackson, shot, score! We saw Jason Jackson. We told you what a shot that he possesses, and he does. He ripped the back of that twine. I tell you, Nick LeFave didn't even see that one. High to the stick side. A nice drop pass, and uh, Jackson was left unattended in a slot from about 25 feet out, and he just one-timed it right up in the corner. Beautiful shot, beautiful pass, and the uh, the Raiders go up 2-1, to one, and just prior to that, down at the other end, the Larrys were put in on all kinds of pressure, and Messina just dodged the bullet down there. So Messina comes back the other way after the Larrys were putting on pressure and scores their second goal. Jackson will pick it up, and Messina leads it 2-1, to one, but... Uh, i tell you what, the Larrys, a very game team tonight, doing a good job against Messina. Jason Jackson's going to get the goal, and uh, Brian LeVac and uh, Chris Cameron will pick up assists on that one. You know, it's funny how that works. Uh, the line had been on a long time, looked tired, couldn't clear their zone. They do clear it. The Larrys were so intent upon putting the pressure, they didn't get back in time. And you see that happen every once in a while, and it did right there as Messina takes the lead 2-1. to one on the Corky's Collision scoreboard. This is one of the one of the reasons uh, Coach Moore and Coach Long have uh, restructured that uh, line, uh, the lines. And again, when we get a break in between periods, we haven't right now, we'll talk about, talk about that a little bit more. And there was a penalty after the goal as Sonny Clark picks up a hit after the whistle. So Messina will go on the power play here. Jake Morris with his line mates, Tommy Moore and Jeff Bigelow, here comes Morris across the blue line on the feed from Jackson, who's playing the point. Now Morris drops it back to Jackson, does a good job to keep it in. Flips it back to Morris at the 45. He can't get the shot off. Back to LaBarge at the point. LaBarge is shot, knocked down in front, and it's bounced back to the blue line. And is it out? It is out to center ice. Moore pokes it back in, but the Larrys control, and they dump it into the Messina zone. Jason Jackson with it. He's got Newtown as a four checker, and Jackson starts it. He's going to head man it to LaBarge, and LaBarge starts back. Here's Jason LaBarge with it, dumping from the red line, whips it into the zone. Chris Cameron steps in front of it. Cameron gets bodied off the play. Newtown picks it up, bounces it. Does he get it out? He does, I believe. LaBarge took it back in, but offsides will be the call. He tried to keep it in, and the faceoff moves outside. 38 seconds remaining in the power play, 7.06 in the second period, and on the Corky's Collision scoreboard, Messina leads the Larrys. Two to one. This is, this is about the fourth different combination that Messina's used on the power play tonight, and uh, so the gears just aren't working. They little, need a little oil, and the coaching staff still making adjustments. Uh, this is probably the worst I've seen Messina look all year long, but we do have to give credit to the Larrys. They're an uh, important right. part of disrupting uh, that power play. Off the faceoff, it comes to Cameron. He tries to poke it in the zone. Gardner tomahawks it. Down the ice it comes, and there's a foot race for it. Hobbs and LaBarge. And they both go right by it, and picking up the puck is Tommy Post. Flips it ahead to Cameron. Cameron goes to Jake Morris across the blue line. Morris trying to step by the D, goes to Bigelow, back to Morris in the corner. Here's Morris. Bigelow steps in front, shot, knocked down. Bigelow bounces it in behind the net. 
Jake Morris with it. Trying to center right in front. Bigelow can't get the shot off. It's cleared back to the point. Tommy Post winds up. That shot's wider was deflected. Jake Morris after it. Penalty up. We're even here as it comes to Morris. Here comes Jake now stepping in front. Almost gets knocked down but stays with it. Morris into the circle. The shot scores! It looked like the Larrys almost went to a man-to-man -man defense like you'd play in basketball. Everybody picked up a man, and the Raiders spread out and left Jake one-on-one -on -one with his defender, and he turned him inside out at the top of the circle and just cut inside his man, and from about 20 feet out, he ripped a wrist shot up high, again, in under the crossbar, and uh, young Nick LaFave didn't have much chance. That was a wicked shot, but again, it was just like... A man-on-man -man defense, everyone peeled away, left to Jake one-on-one, -on -one, and he turned his man inside out. I'll tell you what, I don't know too many goaltenders going to stop that shot. No. Joey Fauché's line out there. Post picks up the assist on the goal. It's 3-1 to one now, Messina. As the puck rips around the boards, Fauché trying to forecheck in there. He races for it in the corner. He and Chateau go together. Fauché steals the puck, trying to come away with it. Can't get the shot off, and it's back to the blue line and out to center ice. Barkley with it, flips it right back in the zone. All of a sudden, Messina has seemed to come to life a little bit here. Of course, a goal will do that for you, and two will do it even more. In behind the net, Chris Leatherland with it, who has had an outstanding game, to say the least. Over to Joey Brown, Mike Chateau. The puck bounces into the circle and slides out to center ice. McCracken circling, trying to go to Whitcup. Backhands in the zone for McCracken, a little bit too far. Bounce back to center ice, all the way down the ice it will go. And they wave the icing off as the Larrys want a line change. Tommy Post picking up the loose puck, starting out left side of his net. Headman goes to McCracken. McCracken now stick checks it ahead to himself. Gets by one, but Aaron Burns steps in front, flips to the Messina line. Strack racing for it along with Barkley. Strack gets there. Barkley takes him into the corner, tries to feed Newtown. Post takes Newtown out of the play, but Burns all by himself right side of the net. Picks up the loose puck, flipping to Newtown. Newtown poke checked away by Barkley. They jam for it. It comes free to the side, and Cameron steps in front of it, picks it up, lugs it down the sideline. Looking for McCracken, goes by his stick, and uh, Johnson comes back in his own end to pick it up. Johnson now jamming for it along the boards with Cameron and Jackson in there as well. Puck comes free. Jamie Newtown after it in behind the net. Flipping it around the boards. Comes right in front. Jackson in the slot. His shot. Big save. Made by LaFave. It comes free. And Manny couldn't come up with a loose puck. And back to the point and out to center ice. LaBarge flipping it over to Cameron. Cameron feeding Jackson. Breaking through to Manning. Manning can't get the shot off. Poke checked away from him. And it's picked up by George Dudash. Dudash in behind his own net now for the Larrys. He stops, trying to make the move. Messina up 3-1 to one here as the Larrys break it. Here's Burns into the zone in Newtown. His quick wrist shot. Say so made the puck in front. Strack fires it wide. Nobody there to clear. We got an, a penalty on Messina, I believe. A cross-checking call against the Raiders, and the Larrys will go on the power play. I'm not sure if it's going to be ta Todd Manning uh, going to get the gate or not, but uh, Jared Ruddy's making the call. It is a cross-checking call. You know, little things, uh, a few minutes ago we had a 1-1 hockey game and the Larrys were putting on the pressure and all kinds of pressure around the Messina net and almost went up 2-1. And uh, the play comes back uh, the other way, that tired line, one nice pass, and Jason Jackson rips that shot and the momentum has turned completely around. Well, the Larrys will go on the power play here. It is Todd Manning that's... Uh, Cross check. And they need, uh, the Larrys need one here to get them back, get that momentum back and uh, swinging their way. Off the faceoff, Tommy Post whacks at it, doesn't get it out. Strack keeps it in at the point. Feeding Gardner, his drive, the save, the rebound comes right in front. They jam at it. And where is it? Manning says, no, he can't control it. Sonny Clark, but it's picked into the corner. Jake Morris goes after it. Flips back for Post. Post back to Morris. Jake looking for some skating room, trying to find it. He's taken out of the plate, comes up with it anyway. Big effort by Morris. Here comes Bigelow, breaking down the ice. Jeff Bigelow goes by one, goes by two, gets the shot off. It's knocked down. Bigelow, one-man show right there. And uh, probably the hardest guy in the NAC to knock off the puck is Jeff Bigelow. Now back the other way come the Larrys. Here's Andre Gardner trying to move in the zone on the right side. Centering pass right in front. They jam at it, and the puck bounces free. Barkley looks for it. He can't find it. Now he flips it ahead, gets upended. And no trip on the call. It comes to Johnson trying to flip it in front. Now he and Tommy Post go together. Puck comes free. Post throws a check. We got another penalty. 
and we're going to have a penalty on St. Lawrence Central, I believe. And uh, actually, they dodged a bullet there a few minutes ago, and they got it right there. I'll tell you, number 10, Sonny Clark, he plays with a lot of heart out there. He's, uh, he's quite a digger, and he's, he's giving the Raiders all kinds of fits. That's going to be Mike Griffith getting the gate, but uh, actually the penalty happened over here. Yes, it did, and they didn't call it down in the corner. Uh, Mike Griffith kind of spun the Raider forward around, and uh, that one was a borderline call, but uh, maybe the officials possibly heard the crowd yell on the one they missed. But the bottom line is that the, the Raiders are going to be on a power play in about 28 seconds, as Manning still has 28 to serve on his penalty. So we got four on four, plus the goaltenders. Jason Jackson is putting on, so early on or halfway through this game, a, uh, an offensive performance tonight. He is, uh, he's a threat out there. Well, we saw him score a natural hat trick against uh, Seton Catholic, and uh, he can play hockey. But Jamie Newtown wins the draw, breaks in. He's taken out of the play by Levac. Bryant steals the puck now, starts it out. Headman pass on the wing to Jackson. Here comes Jason, all the way down ice to Cameron. Cameron takes it across, trying to move it through the middle, has it swept away. It goes right to Cameron in the corner, back to Jackson, back to Levac at the point. He winds it up, the shot is wide. Puck whistles on the other point, Labarge. He flips in the corner for Chris Cameron. Cameron kind of overskates, but Jackson there to pick up the loose puck. Messina gets Manning back, and he races on the ice. Here's Jackson with it. Circles. Nobody picks him up. Now he gets picked up, and the puck comes in behind Manning. Manning looking for Cameron. He finds him in the corner. Chris with a puck now. Circling to the 45. Drop pass to Manning. Manning overskates. Try to come up with it. It kicks free. Where is it? Cameron. Cameron back to the point. Jason Labarge right in front. Manning. The backhander goes wide. Puck over on the other side. Newtown. Does he get it out? No. Here's Levac shot. Oh, boy. That hit somebody. It was labeled for the corner. Now in behind is Manning. Manning trying to feed Jason Jackson. Or that's Cameron, I should say. He gets by the D. It's knocked away. And the puck comes free, and the Larrys dump it down the ice. 19 seconds left in the Messina power play. Messina leads 3-1 to one on the Corky scoreboard. Here comes Brian Levac. Long headman pass goes to McCracken. He tries to steer it across. Goes by him back to the blue line. Levac, he steps by. Here comes Je Levac breaking in. The drive. Big save by Lefebvre. Oh, big save. I guess that is a big save. That's a major league save by Nick Lefebvre. Brian Levac probably is still shaking his head. We had a great angle here. There's no way that that one's not going to go in. From about 15 feet, he scorched one, headed for the top corner, and Nick LaFave stuck out that left hand. I mean, that's just highway robbery. Great save by the Larry goaltender. This is by far the best game I've seen LaFave play this year. Of course, I've only seen about four, but uh, he's not having one of his worst games, that's for sure. Poche's line out now. The penalty just about up. The puck sits in the circle. Back to the point, kept in by Post. Bouncing high slot. Bouncing around, comes right back to Tommy Post. He steps, winds, the shot, and that's wide. Well, Lefebvre waved at it on the way by. It comes to Barkley at the point, now trying to flip it in the corner. They jam for it, comes up along the boards. Back to McCracken, his drive knocked down. And it comes to Kyle Johnson with about a minute left to play here in the period. Here's Tommy Post in his own end, flips it ahead for Whitcup. He's taken out of the play. Sutton, Sutton's pass intercepted. Tommy Post, Post trying to get by the defense. He can't. Here come the Larrys with an opportunity. Dougie Cullen way out of his net, though, to flip it out to center ice. Big play by Cullen. Larrys get caught off sides, but Messina's going to clear it, and they do. Here's Whitcup. Whitcup trying to feed to McCracken. 40 seconds. McCracken drop pass to Whitcup in the corner. Whitcup looking for Fauche. Intercepted. Here comes Clark back the other way. His pass feeds Hobbs. Hobbs takes it across the blue line. Hobbs and Barkley go together. The puck comes free, and McCracken picks it up as Barkley stayed with him. Feeding Whitcup. Whitcup breaking in one-on-one. -on -one. Here's Whitcup. Fakes the shot, trying to slide it through, and Dudash just pushes him away. Sutton picks up the loose puck. McCracken throws a check. Steals it, trying to center right in front. Dudash has to backhand it. Comes to the 45. Gardner picks up the puck. Nine seconds left in the period. It comes to Levac. Levac bounce pass. McCracken. McCracken. Headman. It comes to Bigelow with two seconds. He can't get the shot off as the buzzer sounds. And he was looking for it. And he got railed be from behind after the whistle. But uh, no call on it. And both teams will go to the locker room with the Mesita Red Raiders leading it 3-1. to one. 
Jeff tried to plead his case to referee Jared Ruddy, but to no avail, uh, saying, hey, ref, he knocked me down. And uh, I'm sure Jared might say to him, well, son, this is a physical game. He's got a right to knock you down. That's right, especially but when you're looking to score a goal. Messina got right at the end there in that last uh, minute or so. They caught a break because both of their defensemen got caught up. And when, you, when you're playing and your defensive partner has moved up in that neutral zone, you're, you have a responsibility of, of drifting back. You're the you know, the assigned defenseman, and the, both of them got caught up in the play at the neutral zone, and the puck went behind him, and the only thing there was a blue shirt. And fortunately for uh, Messina, it rolled a little too far, and uh, Dougie Cullen came out of his crease about 30 feet to clear the puck, or they would have been in on a breakaway. Two on none. Two on none is right. So it's 3-1 to one after two periods of play. Our broadcast brought to you tonight by the Pub and Pantry Restaurant. Okay. <laughs> Okay, they're both back out on the ice, Paul, whenever you get a natural break point. on the ice ball whenever you get a natural break point. very much, Paul, and good evening once again, everyone. We played two periods. The Messina Red Raiders are leading at 3-1 to one as we get ready to start the third period. Nick Lafay will be defending the goal to our right, and uh, Dougie Cullen will be defending the goal to our left. And uh, it's been a good hockey game, Dave. Yes, it has, and I, uh, you mentioned Nick Lafay uh, starting this period. I Prior to the game, uh, Coach Mickey Locke entertained the thought that possibly, uh, since it was a, a non-divisional game, that he would split the duties between his two goaltenders. But I guess he figures uh, uh, young Mr. Lefebvre is uh, on a roll. He's ha had some outstanding saves tonight, and I guess he's going to go with him all uh, for the whole game. Okay, we've got Jake Morris against Garrett Hobbs. Off the faceoff, Levac with it in his own end. Looking. Moves it. Doesn't get it out of the zone. Now he tried to follow it up. It comes to Morris, and Morris breaks. Here comes Jake Morris, right down the middle, trying to split the D, goes to Bigelow. Bigelow in behind the D, now circles the net. Here's Bigelow, and the net's knocked off its moorings, and we'll have a face-off. And I guess the face-off will come inside Larry's zone. On the Bob Post State Farm Insurance scoreboard, it's 3-1 to one for Messina over St. Lawrence Central as we start this third period. Last we heard, Potsdam was way ahead of Salmon River, 8-2. to two. So it was at 9-2. to two. Yes, I think it was 8-2, to two, Jerry. 8-2. to two. And those two goals, uh, Jason Jackson, his seventh, and uh, Jake Morris, his 16th in the second period. The only two scores of the period, both by Messina. Face off right side, off the draw, St. Lawrence Central wins it. And Morris gets a stick on the headman pass. Bigelow steps in front, slides it to the side of the net. But he was checked by Dudash. And now Morris throws a check of his own. The puck, though, slides out to center ice. Comes to Labarge by way of Labac, back to Labac at the Messina blue line, looking. Bounce pass, goes to Moore through his legs, picked up by Leatherland, dumped back in the Messina zone. They wave the icing off, and it comes to Labarge. Labarge starts out, left side of his own net. Here comes Jason Labarge leading the Messina attack. Labarge busts by, but Bigelow follows her. That's Tommy Moore, rather, but it's poke checked away out to center ice. Jackson now, who's out on the ice as Messina makes a line change, flips it in behind for Todd Mann. He goes right by him, back to the blue line and out to center ice. There's Tommy Post flipping it. Delay offsides. Messina clears as it comes in behind for Chris Leatherland. But he leaves for Dudash. Dudash has Manning forechecking. The puck comes to Leatherland. He loses it in the boards, but he kicks it ahead, has it poked away. But back is Newtown to pick it up. Jamie Newtown now on the attack for St. Lawrence Central. Long headman pass right on the stick of uh, Strack. Strack gets a shot off. It's knocked down. Puck comes free right in front. 
and it goes to the side of the net, and it's tied up in the mesh behind as Messina, a little bit of a miscue in their own, and he just flips it back out to center ice. After it is Kyle Johnson. Johnson right in front of his own net. Now he's circled. He's got Manning forechecking, but he backhands it high in the air. Aaron Burns. Aaron's got the lone Larry goal. He takes it in the zone, fires it right in front, goes in behind the net. They jam at it, and it comes free to Jackson. Jackson loses it side of the net, trying to come back up with it. The puck comes free. He throws a check track, flips to Burns. Burns loses to Manning, and Manning starts it out. Falls down, gets up, and Johnson flips it back in the zone. Stopped by Cullen. He's going to leave it for Jason Jackson. Jackson trying to go on the wing, doesn't get it out. Here's Sutton's shot deflected right in front. It comes to Manning. Manning now just slips it out to center ice. Here comes Cameron. Cameron across the blue line trying to follow it in the zone. He doesn't have anybody with him as Messina makes a line change. Now they follow it up as Whitcup comes on the ice. He feeds it along the blue line. Picked up by the Larrys. Poke checked away by Whitcup. Whitcup trying to stay with it, but Aaron Burns backhands it. It comes to Brown. Brown, who's out there now for the Larrys, flips it in behind the Messina net. Brian Levac is there. Levac loses it in front, falls down, but manages to flip it ahead. And coming back with it is Jason Labarge. Labarge drops it for Levac, and Messina starts it back the other way. Here comes Levac now, lugging it, and he gets railed. This is going to be an icing call as he flipped it from behind uh, the red line, and that'll move the faceoff back in Messina territory. Number 15, Jamie Lyon, came out of nowhere and said, gave uh, Brian Levac a howdy-do. He <laughs> set him uh, right on his backside. Brian's now going to the bench. He's a little upset with himself, too. He made the turn on that last rush. He had, the, uh, had his center open, and he didn't give him that initial pass. When he's open like that, you've got to, boom, right off the bat. That's the time you get that guy up in front of you. Give him that puck. 11.59 left, third period, 3-1 Messina on the Bob Post State Farm Insurance scoreboard. Bouncing puck comes right in front, but it's cleared by Barkley in behind the net. And Fauché comes up with it and starts out. Here's Fauché, head man to Whitcup. Whitcup goes for McCracken. Scotty stays with it. Here's McCracken with Whitcup in front. Feeds him, right in front shot, score! Nice pass play. Whitcup and McCracken, and Messina goes ahead 4-1. Great job by Scotty McCracken. Uh... The, the Larry defenseman got beat up at the uh, blue line, and uh, Scotty tipped the puck by him and created the two-on-one. And Bobby Whitcup, being a smart hockey player, he went to the net, and uh, Scotty McCracken found him, put the pass right on his stick, and he didn't waste any time. He slid it right between Nick Lefebvre's leg. That's a big goal. But uh, they beat the Larry defenseman up at the blue line, which created the two-on-one. A great play. Uh, Scotty McCracken did uh, most of the work, and Bobby Whitcup uh, finished it off. But again, this uh, third line has been big for Messina here this evening. Here comes Bigelow. Takes it across. Drop pass to Moore. Moore circles into the faceoff circle looking for somebody to pass it to. Looks into the slot to Bigelow right in front. He can't get the shot off. He came right across the goal mouth trying to stay with it. And there's going to be a penalty. I think it's going to go against Messina. And now there's some pushing and shoving going on as Bigelow will get the gate. And which always happens, the official did not call the first one. He's, I think Messina may go for two. He may have them. He's definitely got uh, Jeff on a roughing. He may also have him for a holding. He may uh, tack up a double minor. What had happened, there was a call against Messina, and uh, Jeff Bigelow got uh, hit by one of the Larry players, and the official didn't call it. And uh, Jeff uh, took exception, turned around, and uh, pushed the uh, St. Lawrence player, and that's the one the official will call, the retaliation. So I think the uh, I think he's gonna go, yes he's he's gonna get a double minor. That's what it is a double minor. So he got a hooking and a roughing. So that'll give uh, power play for three minutes to the Larrys. This might be the spark that St. Lawrence Central they definitely need a goal on uh, on this power play. Fauché out there along with McCracken to try to kill it. Off the face off, Labarge whacks at it, dumps it down into Larry territory. Strack is back after it, and he starts it out for St. Lawrence Central. Feeds Newtown. Newtown just backhands it in the Messina zone. Levac chases it in the corner, trying to flip it ahead for Fauché. Fauché jams for it along with Garrett Hobbs. Now it goes to Burns, back to the point. Johnson. Johnson right across. Newtown winds up. His shot goes off a stick. Along the dasher board, Johnson keeps it in at the point. 
Here's Johnson. Back to Strack. Strack, his shot goes off a stick up into the wall. That was off McCracken's stick. And the faceoff will come uh, outside, I believe, or just inside the zone, I should say. Both Tony Strack and Jamie Newtown can really tee it up. They're uh, both built along the same line, tall, rangy, and they both shoot right-handed, and they get it away in a hurry, and they can really put some mustard on it. Now Morris comes out to face off with McCracken, and Garrett Hobbs will face off for the Larrys. Off the draw, the puck bounces into the corner, and... That almost looked like it must have bounced over, but it looked like it went through. <laughs> it, it went over the top of the glass. Okay, 221 left in the double minor to Jeff Bigelow. 1043 left in the third period. And on the uh, post State Farm Insurance scoreboard, it's 4-1. to one. Morris faces, goes back to the point. Here's Strack with it, trying to flip it. Burns at the 45, back to the point. Johnson feeds it over to Newtown. The other 45, they move it around the horn. Strack. Back to Newtown. Newtown slides it through, and it goes in the net. And he used, uh, that's going to be a Larry power play goal, and they'll still be on the power play. He used the Messina defenseman as a screen, and it just kissed the inside of the corner. A great job by number 18, Garrett Hobbs. He was uh, parked right out in front of Dougie Cullen as the shot came in. He neglected, he just not neglected, he decided not to redirect it. He just lifted his stick and it went right between his legs, and that really fooled Doug, Dougie. A nice uh, move by number 18, Garrett Hobbs. And again, the two catalysts on this power play, number 16, uh, Tony Strack, and number 22, uh, Jamie Newtown. They are the two keys, and uh, the Larrys really tried to uh, key everything off of those two. So that'll take care of one power play, but Messina has another one to kill. Here's Barkley off the faceoff, dumps it down in Larry territory. Strack picks up the loose puck and starts out. Four to two now. Messina leads by two. But the Larrys have got the goal here in the period. Morris throws the check. The puck bounces back to the blue line, but Strack is there. Here's Strack with it, moving to the middle. Feeds Newtown, sliding it side of the net. Hobbs gets knocked down by Barkley. And where's the puck? Newtown. Newtown steps right in front of the net, trying to slide it to the side. It comes free. They jam at it, and it goes into the corner. Newtown trying to stick handle it, and he finally flips it to Garrett Hobbs. Hobbs now in the corner, starts to move it out slowly to the faceoff circle, goes back to Strack at the point. Here's Strack sliding it through. Post gets a piece of it, knocks it in the corner. Newtown. Here's Newtown stick handling back to the high slot, flips it over on the other side. Here's Johnson. Johnson fakes the shot. His pass is knocked away by Fauché. And now there's a foot race, but Burns gets there first. Picks up the loose puck, flips it to the Messina line. Garrett Hobbs takes it in, trying to feed Newtown in the corner. Newtown moving it in behind the net. Now Newtown circling, looking, looking, flips it around to Hobbs. Hobbs in the corner, has trouble handling it. Now Tommy Post throws a check, kind of tries to come up with a puck, and it goes down the ice. As Post got a good piece of it with eight seconds left in the power play. Here comes Strack. His head man goes to uh, Garrett Hobbs. Hobbs moves it across in front, gets the shot, score! There's that man again, number 18, Garrett Hobbs. From the top of the circle, he picked up the puck and went across. He was actually looking to pass. He looked to the far wing, hoping to find one of his teammates breaking. He couldn't find anybody, so he flipped the wrist shot, and that one caught Dougie Cullen by surprise. Dougie was stayed back in the net and went in on the stick side, and boy, the uh, Larrys uh, took advantage of that uh, three-minute power play to wrap two goals in, and uh, they were down by two. They're right back in, only down by one, 4-3 with 8.57 to go. Garrett Hobbs picking up the goal and uh, a great play on the second one. A uh, smart move on his part, and here he finished off the third one. Jason Jackson's line out there for Messina. Messina leads on the post State Farm Insurance scoreboard, four to three. Here's Jackson with a puck now, taking off the play. Back the other way come the Larrys. They've got three power play goals. Here's Leatherland. He flips it in the zone. Now, head man pass comes to Jackson. He's got Manning breaking. Fakes the shot, goes by the D shot. Nice save by LaFave. Jackson made a dandy move right there, beat the defenseman cleanly. But again, Nicky LaFave comes up with a big save. And we said it so many times what that does for a team. Look at all five Larrys back there tapping their goaltender, saying, 
great job, Nikki, because we're right back in this ball game, and that could have tipped the scales the other way. You said Jackson went right around, uh, tipped it by the uh, Larry defenseman, gave him an outside inside move, and right in, and had it labeled for the top corner. And Nick Lefebvre with a good glove save. Jackson stays out there with 8:32 remaining in the third period on the Bob Post State Farm Insurance scoreboard. It's Messina four. St. Lawrence Central 3. Garrett Hobbs on that uh, goal with uh, Andre Gardner picking up the assist on that last uh, Larry goal at the 6.03 mark. Okay, here's Jackson to take the face off against uh, Hobbs. Off the draw, back to the point. LeBac flips it in behind the net. Meant for Cameron. Comes to Dudash, back to the point. Kept in LeBac. His drive. Save. The rebound bounces in front. Cameron can't find the handle. And back come the Larrys. Here comes Clark. Down the ice. Across the blue line. Taken out of the play. Hobbs follows up. In behind now. It bounces free. And it comes to LeBac. He starts it back the other way. Headman pass to Todd Manning. Manning takes it in the zone. Across. Right in front. His shot goes into the corner. He gets knocked down. The puck comes free. Back to the point. LeBac's drive. He fired it wide. Comes to LeBarge. He winds it. And I don't know what that hit, but it bounced strangely. And finally, it comes free and bounces out to center ice. Here comes Hobbs for the Larrys, flipping it. Gets it back again, gets the shot. He fired it just wide. Here's Clark. He whacks at it, but the puck is knocked down. Jason Jackson stays with it, and he flips it into the Larry zone. In behind the net. Here's Max Sutton with it. Bobby Whitcup comes in the forecheck, but the puck moves out to center ice. Bouncing along for Newtown. Newtown and Fauché go together. Newtown steps around, trying to feed Burns. Burns in the zone, trying to flip to Newtown. Bounced away, comes high slot into the corner. Tony Strack with it, back to the point. Johnson shot, and the save made by Cullen. The bouncing puck comes in behind the net to Tommy Post. The red light came on, but it wasn't that close. Here's Post with a puck now. Flips it around the boards for Fauché, and it goes all the way out to center ice. Newtown. There's Newtown, Dipsy doodling it. Boche intercepts but loses it to Strack. Strack turns it, flips to the Messina line, Barkley. Barkley has it poke checked away, but Post is there to bounce it out to center ice. Picked up there by Max Sutton. Sutton to the Messina blue line. It slides by everybody. Tommy Post racing in there. He and Strack go together. Strack kicks the puck away, goes to Newtown. Newtown taken out of the play, trying to stay with it. It bounces free. In the corner, Whitcup. Whitcup can't control it. Here comes Burns. Back to Strack. His bouncing shot knocked down in front by Fauché. He's going to get called for gloving the puck. I'll tell you, those last two goals within a minute, about a minute and a half that the uh, Larrys uh, scored have really put a spark to this crowd. And there's, there's a good contingent from St. Lawrence Central across the way. And they're all on their feet and uh, just roaring at the top of their lungs. And... Uh, the Larrys are on fire right now. The Raiders have got to find some way to, to quench that fire. This might be the best crowd we've had this year. Faceoff will be in the Messina zone as uh, goaltender Mel Tomalty picks up the broken stick. We're down to 6-14 left in the third period. Messina leads 4-3 on the Post State Farm Insurance scoreboard. It will be Garrett Hobbs facing off against Jake Morris when we do the draw. He's been instrumental in that big number 18 in those last two uh, Larry goals. Off the faceoff comes right to Clark, but he can't find the handle. And it comes to Tommy Moore, head man of Bigelow. Bigelow busts down the left wing side, takes it across. Out of the play, but Morris follows, trying to feed Tommy Moore. Morris in the corner now, jamming for it, stays with a puck. He still stays with it. Here's Morris. Circling, trying to slide it to Bigelow. Bigelow into the high slot, winds up, can't get the shot off, gets it right back to backhander. Kick save, I believe, made by Lefebvre, yes. Now Tommy Moore in the corner, flips it. In behind, oh, the puck takes a weird bounce, but Hobbs is there. And it comes to Andre Gardner. Gardner backhands it, Bigelow keeps it in. Here's Bigelow, feeding Morris, turns it around, back to the point, and it bounces off a stick, and LeBac in a foot race with Hobbs. LeBac gets there and turns it. Flips it ahead to Jake Morris. Morris back the other way for Bigelow, intercepted, and bounced back to the Messina line. Jason Labarge racing for it as both teams make a change. Labarge 
Head man pass, meant for Cameron, goes by him. It's intercepted. Back the other way comes Newtown. He's got Clark. Here comes Jamie Newtown right down the middle. Backhander hits the side of the net. He stays with it behind the net, flipping it back to the point. Here's a shot. Cullen makes the save. Rebound comes to Johnson. He flips it right in front, but Labarge is there to block it and move it out. Here's Jason Jackson. Jackson feeds Chris Cameron. Cameron across the blue line, stumbles with it, trying to stay with it. It's knocked away, and back the other way come the Larrys. Here comes Clark across the blue line, gets a shot off. He fires it wide. The puck comes free to Tommy Post. Post ridden into the boards by Clark, but he comes up with a puck. Here's Tommy Post looking for Kellison, who's out there for the first time tonight. Kellison with it. We have a whistle. What do we got? A charge on the Larrys. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't see it. No, I didn't either, so I can't comment on it. Referee Jared Ruddy calling uh, a charge. I'm Ooh. trying to pick up the number of the Larry player. He's coming to the... Uh, I'll tell you, Dougie Cullen, we, we talked about Nicky Lefebvre making some big saves. Dougie Cullen just made an outstanding save just a few seconds ago off Tony Strack, who uh, Jamie Newtown, uh, behind the net, found Tony Strack. He threaded a pass up the middle. Strack had just come off the bench, and from about 35 feet, he drilled one, and I thought that was, that was a goal, and Dougie Cullen uh, made a big pad save. And I think the Larrys want a timeout. And... Uh, Coach, assistant coach Randy Roy is not too uh, pleased with the call, and uh, neither is coach Mickey Locke. But uh, regardless of that, the uh, Raiders are going to go on a power play. Well, I'm glad to see that you uh, brought Randy Roy up. Uh, he said his wife is listening, and he hoped we'd mention his name on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to tell Randy's wife that uh, Randy is getting his uh, dime's worth uh, to referee J J Jared Ruddy. He's telling him that... What he thought of that last call. And it was Messina that called the timeout. So they want to they wanna pick one up here. Again, uh, Coach uh, Stan Moore wants to settle his club down. The, uh, all the momentum has uh, drifted over to the Larry side. Those two goals and two power play goals in about a minute and a half have really sparked uh, this club. And uh, young number 23, I think he's wearing, yes, 23, Nick Lefebvre. Uh, unusual numbers for goaltenders, 23 and 30. But uh, Nick Lefebvre, has, he's a big, tall youngster, and he's had uh, an outstanding game tonight. Uh, we, uh, you've caught the Larrys uh, a couple of times. This is my second occasion, and uh, Nick didn't play the time that, uh, that I saw them. Uh, Chris Bernard was in the net, was out in the tournament at Christmas time. But uh, he's, he's played a whale good. of a game tonight. Have you seen him play better than this, Ryan? Yeah, Gardner and Newtown both playing their best games of the year. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, I guess when people play Messina, for some reason it brings out the best in them. We've seen it time and time again. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, this rivalry, as we said at the, at the beginning of the show, you can throw the records uh, out the window. And you, you can't give a club, this club, uh, that Messina had them 4-1 and uh, looked like to put the icing on the cake, but took that uh, double penalty and gave uh, opened the door just a crack, and that's all the Larrys needed. Boy, they're right back here. It's going to be a tough 426 left. 4-3 oh. to three on the Post State Farm Insurance scoreboard. Messina leads it. And the Raiders go on the power play here with a Morris, Bigelow, and Cameron combination. Off the faceoff, Tommy Post, who's out there with Jason Labarge. Newtown is up to four check. It comes to Morris. Here comes Morris. Getting bothered by Newtown. Strax out there as well. Flips it to Post, who takes it in the zone. Stops. Post with a little problem, having trouble with it. Flips it to Bigelow. Bigelow loses to Newtown, and Newtown dumps it down the ice. Cullen is going to have to stick it ahead for Jake Morris, because he had Strack breaking in on him. Here comes Morris to Bigelow. He just dumps it. In the zone, Cameron racing in after it. Leatherland gets there, flips it, but Morris steps in front of the pass. Here's Jake Morris now. Back to post at the point. Tommy winds, fakes the shot, goes in the corner for Bigelow. Bigelow in behind for Cameron. Cameron goes to Morris at the 45. Back to post at the point. He winds up his shot right on. I don't know if it got through or not, but it was off a leg, but it comes to the point. Kept in by Labarge. Labarge right in front. Bigelow, Bigelow, backhander knocked down by Newtown, and he flips it down the ice. 3.22 remaining in the third period, 24 seconds in the Messina power play to Bigelow. Bigelow dumps it in the zone. We got another combination out from Messina as Joey Fauché is out there. He comes up with a puck, can't find a handle. Gardner 
flips it by him. Here's Gardner moving it along the boards. Bigelow trying to keep it in. It comes free. Bigelow gets knocked down. Post wax at it. It's out the center ice. That'll take care of the power play. So the Larrys hang tough, to say the least. Here comes Jason Labarge. Headman pass to Bigelow. Dump back in the zone. The lay offsides. They're gonna, yeah, they got to call an intentional offsides as uh, the Larry player got caught behind the red line that time. St. Lawrence Central has been very effective shutting down uh, this bonded Messina power play. Uh, Coach Mickey Locke uh, said last night he wasn't too pleased. Up until last night, he'd been pleased with his penalty killing. They were running, uh, uh, doing an excellent job, but they gave up two power, power play goals to Saranac Lake last night uh, in four attempts, so he wasn't too pleased. But they've certainly atoned for that and have come to the fore tonight. Okay, Fauche out there with McCracken and Whitcup face off left side in the Larry zone. Back to Barkley. He winds it. Oh, it hit the goal post. Oh, my goodness, hit the goal post. Nicky LeFay's best friend. The puck comes free. Sutton flips to Johnson. Johnson just rides it to center ice. Here comes Andre Gardner across the blue line, trying to get by Barkley in the corner. Barkley takes him into the boards. The puck underneath him. They jam at it there. And it's still moving along the boards. Barkley says, where is it? He finds it, flips it ahead for Fauche. Joey throws the check, trying to stay with it, comes away with it. Flips it to McCracken. McCracken feeds Whitcup. Bobby breaks down. He's just going to dump it right on LaFave. He has to make the save and leaves for Kyle Johnson. Whitcup steals from Johnson, trying to stay with it. He's ripped out of the play. Jackson, who's on the boards now, comes up with a puck. He gets knocked down. They jam at it. And finally, the Larrys come up with it, flip it to the blue line, but not out as LeVac keeps it in. To Jackson. Here's Jackson, high slot, looking, looking, flips the shot right on. LeFay makes the kick save. We have a whistle. What do we got? I don't know if we're going to run them both here. Uh, maybe a double matching penalty minors. matching minors. Uh, Brian LeVac, and uh, I think it's number five, Aaron no, Burns. No, it's going to be oh. uh, Gardner, Andre Gardner, going off with LeVac. Okay, I saw, the, uh, I saw the C on there. So we've got 147 remaining in the third period. Messina leading four to three, and we have matching minors. Sometimes you, uh, you know, you scratch your head. Uh, things aren't going for you. I know the Messina coaching staff said, "Boy, how did that last one uh, stay out?" Uh, Brian Levac threaded it through traffic, and you and I had a good angle on it. We were sure that it was going to catch that corner, but it got too much of the post. And uh, when things go your way, <laughs> face off right side. Morris will face it off for the Messina Red Raiders against, uh, that's got to be uh, Garrett Hobbs, I think. Off the face, back to post at the point, his drive, and it goes to the back of the mesh. I don't know if uh, LaFave got a save or not. It may have been wide, but Bigelow digs it out of the corner. Strack moves it ahead, though, off his stick. Here comes Strack looking for Burns, intercepted by Morris. Jake turns it back the other way. Here comes Morris, winds up the shot. Oh, he fired it wide. And the puck bounces into the corner. 127 left in the third period. Back to the blue line. Stepping in front of it, but not keeping it in is Jason Labarge. Flipping it ahead. Here's Aaron Burns. Burns takes it across. Can't get the shot off. Looking for somebody to pass to. Morris takes it away from him. Jake comes up with the puck now. Flips it over on the other side for Jason Labarge. Labarge in behind his own net now. Being forechecked by Strack, but he manages to get it free to Post. Now Post flips it back to Labarge. 59 seconds. Here comes Labarge, dropping it to Post. Messina has the puck in their own end for a long time. Post trying to move it ahead. Bigelow, he finally gets it down the ice. That's not going to go far enough for icing. Here's Dudash with it. Both teams changing up. It comes to Burns. He steps across the blue line. The drive is deflected. Bounces back. Leatherland keeps it in. Goes into the corner. Labarge, now that's Jackson. Oh, my goodness. Right in front of his own net, but he gets it to center ice. Stop there by, let's see, that's Garrett Hobbs. He keeps it in the zone momentarily. Jackson back the other way. The empty net. Jackson looks for the open net. He fired it wide. 18-7 seconds left. Both penalties are up as the puck bounces to the red line. Newtown flips it in the zone. Here's Tommy Post looking. Bounces it. Did he get it out? No. It's in the corner. Here's Newtown. Five, four, three, two, one. That's the game. And the Raiders win it, but it wasn't an easy time of it. I'll tell you, St. Lawrence Central extended Messina right to the end. And uh, it may not go up as a W for the Larrys, but uh, I know they, uh, 
They're going to get some satisfaction. It might be a moral victory. M W. Yeah, M W. And uh, they pushed them right to the limit. And right at the end of the game, uh, there was a penalty. I don't know if they're going to call it. Uh, referee Mel Tamalti had signaled it. I don't know if he's going to come to the box here. But he had the penalty against Messina, a, a charging penalty. But uh, this was quite a hockey game. Uh, highlighted by uh, Nick Lafay with some outstanding work. And uh, that... Uh, line of uh, Newtown and Burns and Strack, and I thought Garrett Hobbs also had an outstanding game. Uh, Larry's, uh, they looked like they were down and ready to take the uh, the count, but uh, you never count them out. They they took advantage of that double minor against Messina and popped in those two quick goals, and boy, they just uh, had Messina hold on right to the very end. So, uh, an exciting game, a 4-3 to three victory for Messina. The Raiders... Uh Increase their record, and of course, uh, I'll tell you, whenever it's a Division Two against Division One, the Division Two team has everything to gain, not much to lose, and the other way around for the uh, Division One team. But Messina does what they have to do; they win the game. And uh, once again, our final score: Messina four, St. Lawrence Central three. Stay tuned for the post-game show. <laughs> 